here everyone it's Jake the Dark Wolf Knives. Today we're just going to do a real quick etching on this Bowie knife. Um, I got the new labels in here. Unfortunately they're the wrong size. They're, these ones here are way too big for most of my knives and uh, the diamond ones that I ordered are also way too small. So I'll have to order some new ones. But in the meantime this uh, the Jay Parker here with the Wolf will uh, will fit on a on Bowie knives, stuff like that. Very large knives. They won't work on smaller knives like you know the eight inch hunters and stuff like that. They're just way too big. They'll basically, take up half the blade. I think these things are like an inch and a half and wide or something. So, all right. So I'm just gonna plug in and we'll start etching. I've got my lead all hooked up and everything. You probably can't see it. But it's got the diode on it and everything to put this to DC so we can etch. I want to make sure I get this, you know, even all the way across it. I don't want to get this etched enough times to where it's, it ends up etching deep enough to where, you know, it doesn't just kind of rub off. Let it degas occasionally because it does build up a, a gas, like a gas bubble in there, and it stops it from etching. Alright, I think I should do it. Now I'm going to unhook my diode here. I'll just go straight from my regular line here to create an AC. I'll just, I just unclip the, the diode and hooked it straight to the knife. It should give us an AC, which will blacken the bottom of this. Show you the results of the uh, the skin and knife that I just etched the uh, little tiny diamond logo on it. I'll show you the results of that one too. The one thing you gotta I've learned that you have to uh, sand the background, sand the the knife blade to about 400 grit before you start etching. Uh, the shinier it is, such shinier the surface is the less it's going to etch. It basically, you're trying to create a little bit of a corrosion in there. And it starts eating away the metal, but if it's shiny, it won't really etch the surface very well. All right. Let me show you the uh, Hunter really quick, or the Skinner, I mean. Looks pretty good. A little small for my taste, but let's uh, peel off this stencil here and we'll check out our results. Fuck, I think I just cut myself. That's the reason you don't 
screw around with this shit with a sharpened knife. Remember my rule. No sharpie sharpie, so shippy shippy. There's a reason for that. Maybe you don't mess up and cut yourself. Sorry, I'm just rinsing the stencil up so I can get it nice and clean and reuse it. There we go. I cleaned it up. Alright, now. Wipe down that surface a little bit. We'll use a little neutralizer. Ooh, that's a little warm back there. Where we were etching, I guess it built up quite a bit of heat. So far, the results are quite excellent. Now we're just going to take a little sandpaper and some 400 and I'm going to buff all the crap off the surface and see what we're left with. Pretty sweet. The owner of this knife is going to be very lucky. And yes, I'm sorry to say, it already has an owner. This is the big one. Anyway, that's... It came out really nice. And I like these stencils a lot. I just... Would have liked them a whole lot better if they were a lot more perfect sized, you know. I think I can still use them. I'll make I'll make do it make best make the best of it. Um, I'll get new ones on the first ones that are more accurately sized for my needs. Um, I'm the one that messed this up, you know. It wasn't uh, the company. Uh, I got these stencils from Blue Lightning Stencils. And these are great stencils. I mean, super crystal clear. Even on that little tiny little, uh, uh, the little diamond. It's only like a quarter of an inch tall. I mean, that thing is tiny, tiny. It's less than half, like three-eighths of an inch wide total. But it's still perfectly legible. Anyways, there we is. Looks great. It would have been nice on the other side, though, you know, where it's supposed to go. Except it would have looked like crap with the uh, with this diamond pattern in there. It wouldn't have shown up very well, or it would have been looking really, really bad. Alright, everyone. Thank you for watching. Appreciate your time. Take care now. Sorry, I lost my remote already. Oh, there we are. See you later.